Hey everyone, my name is Ariana Kelly da Silva. I'm from Brazil. I would like to bio and talk about deforestation and COVID-19 in the legal Amazon, global, biological, and humanitarian risks. This conference, I organized it with Dr. Ligia Filgueiras. Our institution is State University of Pará, UEPA, in Belém City, the capital of Pará State. The Amazon is a complex forest due to its physical nature and the complexity of plants and animal species. But the greatest complexity is its human nature. In our state, we can find several social organizations such as indigenous, quilombolas, hibernian, small farmers, rural and urban workers, and others who live in the region, but they are often ignored by the Brazilian state. In this photo, we can see Mola, Quilombolas, communities in Cametá city. Cametá is one city around 10 hours far away from Belém by boat. And how we can see it's a black community or rural area in the Amazon. Climate change in the 21th century has aroused the world's interest on environmental and biological issues faced by the Brasilia in the legal Amazon. But the great devastation of the Amazon caused by social, political, and economic impacts among traditional populations, in particular in the context of COVID-19 pandemic. In this image, we can see deforestation during a trip in the Sol Pará with a lot of trees and the devastation in different cities. In our methodology, we use a bibliographic servers on official websites on Brazil risk about corruption, income, and vaccine access information. We uh, uh, visit two articles we have published and we did field work on health among the traditional population. Like you can see in this book, in this article, and the site and the uh, publication about black population and community uh, globalists. In our results, we find that in the last 20 years, the environmental degradation in Pará was the most severe with 37% of native areas deforested in 2020. How we can see in the MP sites, uh, the state of Pará, Mato Grosso, Amazonas, and Rondônia had the deforestation hit the highest rate in the a decade in the Amazon. But only in 2021, the index jumped to 71% of deforestation in specific areas affected food security. Amazon beyond in microclimate, access to water and environment conservation units, as well in uh, private and rural areas. Here we can see the devastation in the Amazon forest in the Kameta city. Kameta is the same city of the Quilombolas population. In the map, the Para State. In the Amazon site, the set the deforestation alert system, that we can see the red points with the deforestation in our state and the blue points with degradation. About the number of deaths by COVID-19, now, Results we found that among 
Kilombolas indigenous and Hibernian residents was on uh, the highest in the Holy Country. Only in the Brevi City, in the Marazo Island in our state, the death rate from SARS-CoV-2 was 13.37%. And it represents and demonstrates the double biological and social vulnerability of the people in the region. And among the Kinkaparos with the highest percentage of population with SARS-CoV-2, five are from the North region, including the cities of Brevis, Castanhal, Belém, and Marabá. Here we can see the number of the percentage of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 in the Brevis and others. Marajó cities with around 25% of the uh, prevalence and the hospital and Marajó hospital, of, uh, the, the original hospital of Marajó had only four ICU beds in the same period of the death. Here, we can see the law-based sanitation in Brevis, and only in the city, around 25,000 people in the city were infected by SARS-CoV-2. Here, it's the wood extraction in Brevis, and the poverty with people asking for donations on commercial posts. And we have been right about Marazo Island in the context of the pandemic in the blog Bioanthropology on Amazonia. And how we can see is the legal Amazon map and the Marazo Island. About the corruption Brazil risks, the state's inefficient of environment inspection and the limited vaccine coverage of vulnerable groups demonstrate that SARS-CoV-2 biological risks plus extreme poverty in parastates. And the human rights violation in political, ethical, food insecurity and health factors that need urgent international humanitarian aid should be solved in the short and medium term about the Brazilian corruption. And Brazil remains stagnant at a bad level with 38 points. And in our capital, Para is number of 23 of the total of 25, 27 Brazilian states in relation to work and income index. And in our uh, full population, it's almost 9 million of people. And the doses about AstraZeneca, CoronaVac, and Pfizer uh, are no good. And here we can see the concentration of vaccine in the metropolitan areas and some full doses in indigenous and quilombolas communities. The deforestation in indigenous lands grows 124% in the last five years, but remains concentrated critical areas in the red areas. And in the quilombolas populations, we have the basic sanitation and access to drinking water are precarious in, in addition to polluted rivers and degraded forests, causing a situation of public calamities in relation to coronavirus in the Amazon region. 
we wrote about this situation and the indigenous help situation too in our blog, in the Jeb Uepa blog, Group of Studies of and Research in Bioanthropology of the State of Pará. Our in, in other situation is the evangelization in the indigenous population, the access of the indigenous population to don't have the regular transportation to arrive there in the indigenous uh, community. We have to some image of basic sanitation, access to water and health problems in several cities and black and quilombolas communities in our state like Jacunda, Nova Jacunda, Tailândia, Moju, eh, Limoeiro do Ajuru, and a lot of Black and Quilombolas communities. How we can see the access to water and the basic sanitation are no good. And we have to the mosquitoes of dengue, Zika virus, and malaria and others. Here we can see the children's health situation in a lot of para cities too, with dermatosis, chicken pox, low weights, parasitic anemia, etc. We found some impacts of deforestation in the Amazon to like hot spots, mining areas, contaminations of rivers and agrarian conflicts, silting uh, and other situations. Here in two important cities like Manaus in the Amazon nice state, in, in our city, Belém, in Empire State, we can see hot spots. And in the urban areas, we found that 3.5% the warmer than the forests. Here, we can uh, see the illegal mine, the mercury contamination in the Parima River in the Yanomami indigenous territory in Roraima. Brazil has registered around 2,000 conflicts in the countryside in 2019, with 85% only in the Amazon. In the city, is Paragomena cities, the carbon loss represents 4% due to the forest degradation in the Amazon, only in the Paragomena city. Here, the burning in the Amazon, living close to fire, a 37% increase in the risk of hospitalization for respiratory problems in the Amazon legal. And to image, you can see silting in Garapé of Curuçamba in of the city, in soybeans in Amazonian deforestation area. So what can you do to tend this? In our conclusions, the people who resisted colonization, slavery, globalization, epidemic, and genocide of 520, one years of exploration in Brazil face a new threat, the COVID-19 pandemic. And traditionals and indigenous population have mobilized by their own means, but they need support from sectors of organized civil society, universities, research scientists, and uh, the political citizen who understand that the constitution of our democracy needs uh, the populations as fundamental for the consolidation of the present and the future in Amazon and Brazil.
is our reference. Any questions? Thank you so much.